Miami-Dade school police are getting ready for the school year, which starts in two weeks from today. They're doing it by preparing for the things they least want to see, emergencies. CBS 4's Elliot Rodriguez is here now with how they're preparing. Elliot. Well, Erica, South Florida school police want to be prepared for any eventuality, especially in light of some of the tragic mass shootings and other violent scenarios we've seen play out across the country. Okay, go. Miami-Dade Schools Police enter an elementary school in full hazmat gear, finding a student on the ground, a backpack nearby with what appears to be a chemical or biological weapon. During this emergency drill at Key Biscayne K through H Center, the first responders move quickly to search for more possible victims. The purpose of this is to uh, have us at ready to be able to deal with uh, school emergencies and have a quick response. It also allows us to train with other agencies, also to see how we work well together. In all, eight agencies from Miami-Dade and Broward, along with state law enforcement and the Department of Homeland Security, took part in the drill. Some of the guys in the bright yellow jackets are evaluators, making sure the emergency response goes according to plan. The evaluators come from different agencies and different disciplines, so we want to make sure that we look at every area possible and how we can improve on our response and improve on our training. So this will set the trend for our training into the coming year as far as what we need to work on and actually scores on what we did very, very well. Key Biscayne Fire Rescue Units were on hand to assist in the hazmat drill. In a real-life emergency, these first responders would be equipped with special detection equipment, sampling devices, and containment tools, along with specialized medication for the victims. But those who took part in today's training say the drill is one of the best ways to be prepared for an emergency. It's like a trial run, uh, almost like muscle memory, hopefully. So, so that hopefully it goes smooth, brings down the anxiety levels. Look what's going on across the country um, between South Carolina, churches, synagogues, uh, recruiting stations, military bases. Um, we're known as soft targets, uh, critical infrastructure, so we have to make sure that we're ready and prepared to respond to emergencies. Well, school police will now look at how well they perform during today's drill and try to come up with ways to make improvements to their emergency response plans. In the newsroom, Elliot Rodriguez, CBS 4 News. Elliot, thank you. Fire